No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Can we actually take that bottle and move it back? Oh, yeah. I might be a little distracted. Right but today, we're in the building, back with another heater. How many interviews I had with you yet, mother? Too many. <laughs> about eight, huh? Adam's eight? obsessed with you. How about eight? He's gonna, get, he's gonna get to 55, Unless bro. Unless you, uh, if you count the CMX interview, you count that motherfucker's interview. It's a vlog. Oh. It's a vlog. Oh, I like, like seven. I can't deny it, man. Crip Mac, uh, one of my favorite people to sit uh, down with. You're obsessed with him. <laughs> do, you th- do you think it's kind of weird? Do you think I'm a little too much of a fan? Oh, it is weird that my girl? white man from Boston uh, loves you to death. Yeah. Hash Brown uh, Town. Hash Brown Town. I bang Hash Brown Town. But oh, yeah, that, that's cool. Yeah, you don't think it's kind of weird, right? No, no, it's cool. It's we just cool. homies. Yeah, it's cool. Everybody man. always trying to accuse me of having some sort of sinister altar plan for Crip Man. I'm like, I just like this fool. Like, we be talking on some regular shit. We text all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I put him on FaceTime with my daughter. She loves him. It's mm-hmm. all good. Parker loves Cookie Christmas. Monster. You're Cookie Monster, bro. I wasn't going to say it. I don't know if you like that name, do you? I mean, Cub Blue, Cub. <laughs> he blew at the end of the day. Cub Blue. No, but that's what we got to do is we got to make fire merch that's like a Cookie Monster version of Crip Mac. Yeah, oh, bro. That'd be tight. I, I don't want to make it personally, but maybe someone else could make it. That yeah. show would fly off the shelves. Uh, I'll talk with some people about it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I better hurry up and do it before somebody else do it and then take up all the. <laughs> you read my mind. Anyway, so, uh, so to my right is my man Duno. I decided I wanted him to come on to do this interview with me because he had never met Crip Mac and because there was a comment on Instagram that made me laugh my ass off where they said that Lupe and Duno were related. Because we're fat and Mexican? Yes. I because didn't say it, it. That, that and because our moms know how to cook, bro. Mm. I don't care if I'm <laughs> fat, bro. I'm slowly starting really to believe don't. that Lupe is like the the next big star to emerge from the Crip Mac universe. She is, girl. They love her. <laughs> she is. <laughs> they love her. People yeah. are watching this. They want to know about Lupe. Yeah, you know, when I came with the homie, like I didn't think it was gonna be nothing. Like it was gonna, I wasn't gonna get that big, bro. Cause you see, I'm chubby. I'm a chubby Mexican, bro. I didn't think I was gonna get that big, bro. But you know, it's it's about your character and what you got inside your heart. People you know like your I'm personality. Saying? Yeah, you know, I'm funny. I don't give a fuck. What I look like, I could look like the tamale lady. I'm still going to come in front of the camera, bro. I don't care, bro. Yeah. All you motherfuckers is making all these comments, but you guys are watching us. We ain't watching you. I don't even know who the fuck you are. Every time I go on live, bro, I block people every second, But guess bro. what? We still staying alert. Yeah. Uh-huh. But how, time, how did you guys tap in together and meet? Oh, he, how did you guys meet? He, he, uh, HK Tone, girl. Okay. Mm-hmm. On hood, oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, Who's HK the, Tones my HK Tones my. Uh, I was in his shop. I used to sell, serve tacos in front of his shop right. for like a year. Uh-huh. And uh, he has a dispensary, so I was serve tacos for other people who want you know. Okay. And then he, I come there every day, every day, and I'll come and do my, you know, just go in there handle my business. I never started no drama or nothing like that, you know. Uh huh. So make like, if I, yeah, I made my money, and then he asked about uh-huh. me, and then he knew I was about my money, and, my, and I'm like professional too. So you saw her, and you were like, I want her to help me manage my career. Uh, so we, 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 we he slid in my DMs, bro. He slid in there. Ice skate. How did you know uh, that he wasn't trying to get on some freak shit? That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. He went in like that, bro. <laughs> With one foot up like that. When ice skates, turning around. Because he's a kinky Lupe. dude. He be saying some crazy shit on Instagram. Uh, Lupe more like T.I. Crip. That's like Lupe. Okay. For yeah, sure. I'm like Thea Crip, or un- he calls me Uncle Lupe. Oh, like, I, my little homie Tiny Crip, Mac calls her Uncle Lupe. Okay. Yeah, they come out. real Lupe. asshole, but he's, a, he's an active young nigga. I love Cub. Right. Can, can you give me a little bit of backstory of where you're coming from and like where you grew up and shit? Well, first I grew up in Compton, bro. You know where we did the friendly fade? Okay. Yeah, so I grew up there, so I already knew I, I lived in front of a dope house, so they used to stay shooting at my house. For real? Yeah, inside inside my house, bullets coming in. We I was, At eight years old, I already knew how to dodge them. Wow. Yeah. You knew how to dodge bullets like the Matrix? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. Neighborhood, bro. You already know. You already you know. You were always attracted to the gangbang shit or what? No, I'm just like crazy. I, I, I remember when I, when I turned 18, bro, my dad took me to Mexico. Uh-huh. And I broke into the lion's cage and I petted the lion. <laughs> so I knew like. What part of Mexico are you in? That Ensenada. Movie? And Rosa, There's lions in Ensenada? Yeah, they have, they have like a, a cage, and I went in there. And I always, Unlocked cages. Yeah. But wow. see, the way they had the, the cage, like with the bars, like kind of wide, big enough for me to squeeze in. Uh-huh. 
So I went in there and I and I, t- and I petted the lion. And he let me, bro. And then when I went out when I went out the cage, I was like, I already I already knew like if I could do this, I could do anything, bro. Do you think that handling that lion at that young age prepared you to deal with someone like Crip Mac? Yeah, well, yeah, but Crip Mac is a is a man. If He's I a could, lion of if sorts. I could, if I could, if I could, I'm a man. lion, but not like the Wizard of Oz <laughs> lion. That was a custard. He was a custard. Yeah. 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 Scary ass lion, cub. And you know how? Motherfucking you, you know how I told you a long time ago that there's a character on the TV show <laughs> Euphoria named Custard. Oh, yeah, yeah. He ended up being a snitch and they stabbed him in the neck and killed him. Bro, look at Cut Nine. Look at it. It's like <laughs> the. Was a custard, I'm convinced yeah. that the director knew, knows about Crip Mac and knows about the LA oh, slang and knew that we're going to name this fool <laughs> Custer. <laughs> <laughs> that's he white? Cra- he's white. He's white. <laughs> I think more more evidence that he's a custard. Exactly. Well, you know, you know, the whole world watches uh, No Jumper. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah, especially when Crip Mac touched down. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They they watch all your other interviews. You got some good interviews. Mm. You know, you doing your thing. For sure. Every time you mention me, bro, the, the, all my homies type in, "Hey, I just heard your name on No Jumper." I was like, "Damn!" I like, man. Right. I remember when I, last time was it about two shows ago? I told you I was like, one day I'm gonna be in right here. Remember what you were right? Mm. Didn't I tell you that? You did. And where, and where I'm at. But you know what's fucked right up? Here. Her yeah. Instagram name is Lupe Fiasco. <laughs> 31. But that's kind of fucked up because there's already a Lupe yeah, Fiasco. Yeah, I'm going to change Guess what I'm going to change it to? What? Certified Lupe. Ooh. Certified Lupe. Yeah. You got to put the 46 in it. Well, yeah, I'm going to put the 46. Because otherwise, if you, you keep it. blowing up, then you it might be like a Rick can, Ross yeah, and Freeway I, Ricky I to, situation where you both have the same name and maybe you get bigger than... I try to get a blue check, but they ain't gonna give me no blue check with Lupe, Lupe Fiasco, bro. There's already mm. one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change my name and redo it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. But the we're, verification. We're, we're gonna need like an article about you. I guess you got a no jumper interview. Maybe they'll verify you off that. Oh yeah, huh? But yeah, now I'm gonna change articles. it. I'm gonna change it though. What made you think that Lupe was the right one? Well, kid, I've been uh uh Lupe. She came in uh. We go ahead and keep it 50 fair straight. <laughs> um, I was staying out, you know, out, out this way. I was with the with the homie T Fly. And uh, some shit, you know how people get drunk and shit, you know, what, whatever. On oh, Hood, uh, we went and did a concert that night, kid. Yeah, you know, motherfuckers, they just, just left, cuz Lupe was there. My like, goddamn, Lupe, <laughs> I need to get home, but cuz he, he stayed sway, sway, sway out the sway. Uh-huh. You find me? <laughs> so uh, I went to my other people's house on Hood. Uh, Oh, uh, shout out Lil C Man and uh, Animal Cut. They had a spot five me. Right. And Lupe took me there. She waited all night till they verified it. You know, I had increments. So you just had to make sure I could get up in that motherfucker. Mm. From there, I'm like, huh, somebody that's that's a drunk all the time. Lupe don't drink. Mm. Today she's drinking. She got her sister. Shout out her sister. Cause Lupe's not driving today. You fighting me? Oh, that's your sister. Yeah, that's my oh, little sister. The one that be on the TikTok yeah, for me. Oh, yeah, Crip Walk. That's her. That's her. That's, that's, that's my Crip Walk star but, right uh, there. But Lupe, she's about her sisters. You fight me? Yeah. And uh, she comes at all times. Right. Oh, uh, you call Lupe? She might not drive the fastest. <laughs> She's driving at 46 miles per hour. <laughs> Guess what? She's I coming. I keep it 46 Street, bro. Yeah. What about that clip of you driving the car and, and, and oh. it's, it's like you're, you're a whip, right? And you, you look like you're losing your fucking mind while you're driving. Like you're just freaking out. Like, what yeah. was that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I was, uh, that's adrenaline rush. Uh, he wants to learn how to drive on the goddamn freeway, Yeah, that's bro. the, that's the funniest car. Well, you're not going to make it up the five miles, bro. <laughs> No, no, see, I know a little, a little bit of how uh, a drive you fight me. I got in a bad car accident some years back. Uh-huh. So it's kind of, it's, it, it fucked with me a lot. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But it's not rocket science. That's a good point. You see what I'm saying? You just got to keep your tags legit, your windows nice and tinted. Right. You fight me and uh, I'll uh, Lupe, this, see this, all right. This is one of the main things I want to know, though, is like, what what's it like? Like, you, you rep a hood. Yeah. You, you got put on the hood? Like, yeah. how does this work for girls? Well, the... We just do what we, what we, you know, we just, be, we're part of the homies. We do what, you know, we got to do. You got the shit beat out of you? <laughs> no. No? I did, I, not really. You you know? I got the shit, uh, I got the shit beat out for me by a couple of people, but not by my homies. But So that wasn't, you didn't it get was, put on the hood by getting beat up? I got beat up, but not like that. Oh, okay. It was just yeah. a little, little yeah. tap dancing? Yeah. Okay. So when did you move from Compton to South Central? About, from, I, I went to South Central when I was 19. Because you know how our parents are, bro. Yeah, they this, move a lot. Yeah, I mean, no, I don't not, have move, not move a lot. She said our parents <laughs> not, no, like you know, really you know, have the same no, parents. No, no, no. My parents didn't move a lot. My, my dad was really strict, bro. I couldn't, I couldn't come outside. Uh. So he, he kind of kept me sheltered when I, you know, you ever had a pit bull like locked up in a cage and, yeah, and, and we let him out. Sure, you out. Nah, that's you. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's like when well, you in them holding tanks in the county jail. Uh. You see what I'm saying? You finally get out, you, you know, you get CJ, you go to, uh, where you, wherever you go, wherever they land you at. Right. You find me, you watching everything around you, what nigga from here, what nigga from here. You're like a pit bull cut, nigga gonna snap. Wow. 
That's yeah. just how it got to go. And so what'd you do once you snapped and got out the crib? Shit, I was, I went, I, I, came, I came home, to, I came home to South, to the hood of 46th Street. Uh -huh. You know, before, I've been there before they built that school and everything. I, you know, I was doing my, you know, I can't say too much, but right. you know how, you know, the, you know how it is in there. It was going down. It was crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, I'm, even when I, one day I was going to my mama's house and um, just driving with my sister, the one that's right there. And, and I was like, stop, stop. They're going to shoot. And like they blew, they blew two people's brains out. While you were in the car? Well, yeah, we were going home to my mama's house. In your car? No, no, we were going to my mama's house. They were across the street. Oh, so and they, you just saw it happen? Well, yeah. Holy shit. But that's not the first time I seen somebody drop. But you seen that? Uh, huh? Do you think that's fucked you up or traumatized you at nah, all seeing all that's this not shit? the first time. Well, maybe if you, uh, somebody told me because I seen so many in my, but I don't, I don't see it. How many people do you think you seen get that, killed? About eight. Eight? Damn. Damn. Yeah. That's PTSD wild. a motherfucker. <clears throat> so I do have there. PTSD because uh, I be blacking now. I be like, I don't know. I, I can't see when I fight. And I'm like, <clears throat> I think I do. I, I be like getting, I just black out. When's the last time you got in a fight? Well, it wasn't a fight. It was just like a family issue okay. like three months ago. Okay. I, I, should, I accidentally. Gets aggressive. You used to squabble a lot back in the day oh, though. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I think I had at least 30 fights. For real? Yeah. He is had that, that a, this month. Is that, I think it's a PTSD. <laughs> mm. like, so I've been, I've been jumped like three times. I've been maced like two times. Holy shit. Yeah. You I've been knocked of, out only once, though. You ever think, but, like, maybe you should <clears throat> stop going outside so much? I, well, I, it, it don't matter, bro. I'm, if, if, if they're going to beat me up, they're going to beat me up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk up and still do it again. You know, still be walking. I, like, I don't even care no more. Like, right. It's part of the, my life, bro. I've been doing it so long. Right. You know? Do so you think you're, like, uniquely able to handle the Crip Mac because of the fact that, like, you've been around so much bullshit that yeah. maybe the shit that he goes through doesn't necessarily surprise you, know, you that much? No, it doesn't. I really... Bro, bro, I don't want I don't want to say my age, but it's been a couple of years, bro. <clears throat> right. You know what I'm saying? So... Are your parents like paisa paisa, or they were born and raised? No, in they're, they're they were they were they're paisa paisa. They're paisa. Bro. How I do they feel define about that? Define paisa. First. So there is like there is like like she's first generation. Okay. So her parents are immigrants, and she like her first language is Spanish, right? No, oh, yeah, I didn't learn English. Yeah. Till I went to kindergarten. That's why my accent's so that's, hard, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My so accent. so how do they feel about you being from a black gang? Because I know Mexicans, especially immigrants, could be very. I, they didn't like it at first, but they love it now that I'm with the homie. Oh, okay, so they said, yeah, her, 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 pops, her pops didn't think much of me. Oh, he, he was like, what, what are you? What's this in the tatado? I'm like, what's a tatado? Like, tatado. Like, 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 I'm like, I, told, I go, Dad, I'm not fucking with him or nothing. I just, I'm just giving him, like, he, he thought I was probably messing with him because, you know, the type of guys I mess with, like, you mm. know, they're black and crazy, and, you know. That's always so, been your type? Well, you, once you go black, you never go back, bro. You already know that neighborhood, bro. Bad news for this side of the table. We're out of luck, bro. Lupin not my type. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> He's not my type either, bro. Well, you're related, so I would hope so. He's my brother. We're not doing incest. We're not doing incest. So then, we're not, doing incest. No, so then, not on this pod. <laughs> so then what they say? Well, so, but then he started fucking with Crip Mac. Your my dad? dad, my dad, he he fucks with Crip Mac. He be make my little, you know, my grandson, he, uh, he Isaac, uh, Mac. Isaac Mac. He'd be gangbanging at the house, and he'd be like, five, five, crib, five, five, crib. And then my dad, like, he'd be like, Isaac Mock, Isaac Mock. And then Isaac Mack would be like, five, five, crib, Isaac Mock, Isaac Mack. Right. C Mack. He does a whole, and then my dad has some gangbanging in the house all the time now. Wow. Yeah. It's out of control. He accepted it. it but look how long it took, you But know? some people get older, and they don't necessarily like the gangbanging shit as much. You, 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 still, you still fuck with it? What the? Just you know, well, represent the way yeah, well, yeah, I'm there. Every, I'm always over there. When oh, okay. I sometimes when we be going to the hood, I, I'll, I'll drop him off and go around the corner. Right. Mm, drop me off in my hood, and she go her the right street. What do you do? He stays. He stays with his homies. I go with my homies. <laughs> every single birthday party, every single holiday, every birthday, I be with my down. homies. Mm. Yeah. So is it weird that everybody in the comments thinks that you guys are fucking? Well, that she, we, we, we never did nothing. We don't do shit like that. Right. She's a driver, yeah. And hey, we would have. Well, she, well, she takes me around to fuck all the big booty blue. Yeah, pieces. I bring him to him. I, he, yeah. he doesn't need me. You find him, girls? I bring him to him. I already find him myself. He finds him and I bring him. Yeah, no. really? uh, what, you go pick a girl yeah, up on the outside of town, bring him to well, him? Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a celebrity now, so pretty much what I do, I saw her, cuz. 
I learned from uh, oh, oh, uh, T Fly. Shout out T Fly. Uh -huh. Go on Facebook. Uh, just you on I'm, Facebook? Yeah, I'm Facebook. So I, I find all the little, find all the little broke sluts and just fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a car, so I gotta go pick them up. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> that's part of the job. Adam, what you say? What? If they don't have a ride home, let a what take her home? A what? If they don't have a ride home. Let a what take her home? I don't know. What, what? A custer. Oh. You remember? God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> He's in a custer. Was so, so do you, have you, to vet, give them a do you have to vet the girls to make sure that they're not enemigos? Oh, oh I, I, God, I, I, I got the homie. Tricky. I got the homie, bro. He already knows. I already, you already know, uh, homie. We already had that, those situations where oh, I had really? to go and kick a bitch out and shit like that. You know, get the fuck out well, of here. She, was, she, wasn't, she wasn't an enemy. Yeah, what the fuck? She was more so... Um, just a clout chase. Taking advantage of the homie, bro, and he's not going to do that under my I watch. I much heard. Look, I was her and her daughter had nowhere to fight. Stay, you fight me? Right. So I'm, a, I'm a nice nigga, whatever the fuck. I'm like, all right, kid, I got money, whatever. You can stay here at my See? apartment. So they stayed, what, about a month? And she just didn't want to do shit. Mm. Not that even clean up. Nothing. I go, does she suck your dick or anything? No. <laughs> so what the fuck is she doing here? I mean, I was getting yeah, trish just trying to know. I was just trying to help her and her daughter to... You know, she got put out. Whatever, yeah. Didn't even we wear his whistle or nothing, bro. I, I had baby mama there already there. Just, well, you could you have know. brought her in the show. <laughs> <laughs> so you had baby mama and the new beautiful shit staying at the same house? Well, the, She that, didn't even other, do anything beautiful or nothing. Shit. She didn't do shit. So it was, it was no, no nothing like that. Cause I just, all right, pretty much she had a one-year-old daughter and was her. Cause like, and it pretty much they just put her out. Cause I'm like, all right, I, I know Snoo she was. She wasn't an enemy or nothing. Cause she just like more like a clout chaser. Like she only hung around me cut to get five minutes. Yeah. That's matter of fact, it. matter of fact, she, she came to your show. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Which one? The one, Which that, one, the one that asked you to be on your show. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you was clapping that? That day I kicked her out. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't uh, doing nothing with her. I Nothing. think if it's the one I'm thinking of, she hit me up the other day too. Like, what was it gonna take to get on your show? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, who are you? I mean, like, what is your talent? <laughs> I mean, what are you know? Wait, are you? You're not talking about the one you ate rice out of her ass? No, no, no. no that's oh. Roxy. That's the home girl. Not Roxy. Shout out Roxy. Shout out Roxy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're, not, we're not talking about Roxy. <laughs> she twerked on me that day. Remember? Yes. Ah. Hey, you landed over here, bro. I landed over here. <laughs> you spit all the shit out. There. Oh, that shit was wild. <laughs> you didn't pipe her. No. no okay, we no. gotta start a GoFundMe because I'm trying to see you get in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go I'm just going to be real. Yeah. That's just what I'm trying to see, you know? Uh, wild, wild, wild. I would sign up for the Crip Mac. Fucking Busting anything. your wife's asshole. Yo, what is that song? I said that. You, you liked it? The one with DJ Flip that you did. How'd oh, you link with that? Shout out DJ Flip. Shout out DJ ah. Flip. Make the money flip. DJ I got a neighborhood, bro. <laughs> DJ Flip like he just got on a fucking funeral. How I love that? DJ Flip. I love DJ Flip, bro. How did that come about? Well, uh... Was, uh, talking with a well, pretty much my boy, a baby runner from Forties, right? Mm -hmm. Can I do shit with DJ Flip? Okay. You find me and uh, uh that that they like they like brothers, they real close. Okay. So Cud tapped in with me. Uh huh. And then uh, he had some beats and shit. We had the beat. He, he, he's real professional with the shit. Right. So I'm like, Cud, let's just you gotta see some West Coast type shit. Uh -huh. Put the low rider in it. Uh -huh. It's a party. It's, it's, it's a party hit. Now, you know, I'm thinking about Arca, uh, busting coochies and assholes. Right. I would, I'm a disrespectful dinker. Uh -huh. I fuck Custer's wives. Now, if I respect you, I won't fuck your wife. Are you a Custer? Oh, come on, come. Leave with crib. Custer. Got to get in there. Oh, uh, so You're always talking about fucking a Custer's wife in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've never fucked a non Custer's wife? Ah, uh, no. Nah, the, the homie's uh, wife? So you're saying if a bad bitch came up to you, but her boyfriend was If it's a homie, I respect her. Somebody I respect her. No. What if it's just a... Like, he's not a lame, but he's just... So what if he's just regular? What do you mean regular? A custer? No, just regular. Like, what? Like, he don't gang or nothing. He's just a regular dude. Just regular? Like, like what you mean regular? Regular. Like, what does he do? Regular. Don't gang bang nothing. A square? No, I'm What kind of square? He can't even imagine that there's someone who's not in the game. You get what I'm saying? Um, A square? Like, what kind? Like a regular... Like Scott. Where's Scott? Scott, the gay neighbor that we talked about last time? No, I guess if he's gay, he wouldn't have a sitch, oh. but... I don't know. <laughs> Fuck Scott! <laughs> oh, cut that? Oh, <laughs> damn. Neighborhood, bro. <laughs> Where did that come from? I say bro already. Okay. Because my homie HK Tone. And then they, you know that's neighborhood. That's, that's the neighborhood card. You know, we got a lot of, we got a lot of people on our team. I'm trying to get like 
you know, the neighborhood together, bro. Like, instead of being in competition with each other, let's go get this motherfucking bag. <coughs> okay. You know? I respect it. But when did you realize that saying neighborhood, bro, was like your slogan? It became a slogan. I don't know how it happened. No, no, bro. I just, this is, dude, I kept asking you. You're right. Why the fuck you say bro so much, girl? It's because HK Tom, bro, he says it more. <laughs> he, bro, I was with him for a whole year, and it was like, bro, bro, bro. And then my son's like, you changed. You just came out. You're just saying. I was like, I can't stop saying bro. Right. Mm. I can't. You're going to make merch and shit, though? Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, NH, already, bro? yeah. She I already am. has that in process. Yeah. Respect. Well, you see my time serve already, right? What's that? The time serve with the. <laughs> where, where's my son? Stand up, bro. Son. Speaking Munchies. of your son, why why did you comment this on my Instagram photo of me, my girl, and Angela White? You commented, <laughs> I told my son I want you to be like Adam 22 when you grow up. Neighborhood, bro, make that pussy talk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and your son, your son is how old? I commented that, and he uh, pinned how old it. Is your son? I did pin it. So you want because your son to be a porn right? star? Hey, Monchis, get that money. Slang that shit. <laughs> Slang it. Fuck. So what if he wants to go to school? He go to school and still do it. Make it like, bro. School is not gonna make him as much money as slanging his shit like Adam Twenty Two, bro. You already know that. Western Wiggle your ass in there, bro. Damn. So you putting him on game. You're not trying to hide nothing nah, from him, huh? Nah, bro. No. He's 16. He's mm. he been watching you since he was in sixth grade. There's nothing that you try to hide from him? <laughs> like, with, with me, I'm thinking about how I'm going to be when I'm a parent. And I'm, like, trying to figure out, like, how the hell am I going to, like, make my kid not realize how much crazy shit you, a lo- you know a lot of people were associated with me doing? <clears throat> you know, because I was sheltered, bro. Right. And look at how I am. You know, I came out. Mm. Wilding. So... I'm not sheltering him. Mm. He don't want to be from no gang. He plays video games, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I did it. Let him know, let him see. My son see me, like, my son seen everything that I did, bro. Mm. He, he seen me fight a couple of times. I used to bring him to the house. Right. You know, I said, couple up. He see me, you know, in the alley where I grew up right there. I had a couple of fades. Mm. Right. They weren't friendly, you know? Not really. me, you know? how, how are you going to bring your son <laughs> around all of these fly crips, fly cripping all these years, and not he's not going to want to be part of I'm it? I'm not a fly crip, but don't... I want the fans to let them. I'm not a fly You're crip. You're not fly. Cat. What are you? No, I'm a thirsty crip. What? What's I'm that? A thirsty what, crip. What's the difference? I'm just a regular gangbanger, kill with extras. I'm a oh. thirsty crip. I thought everybody just wanted to be fly. No, so no, no you don't, don't, don't want to be from no gang. Hey, Munchies, you want to be from a hood? Nah. You look like Chief Keep kind of. He's got the dreads hanging in his face and shit. Oh, yeah. I, you know, if he's gonna be from a hood, it's gonna be a, my, my, you know, ours. Right. Not, you know, but he's he don't want to. Yeah. He he just. You can't force nobody uh, to do that. Stay in the crib, play Fortnite, right? Yeah, stay in there, mm. kill motherfuckers on on the TV. Mm. You know. What would you say to somebody that thinks that's bad parenting? I mean, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't no, care. Man, just, you know, I, I mean, care, it, bro. <laughs> I mean, like I don't think it's bad. Par- I don't think it's. I don't think it's bad parenting. Like he's he was in the trench. He's li- we lived in the trench with my kids, bro. Mm. So they seen all of that. This, this this is that's our lifestyle, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not gonna like shelter him. He needs to get exposed, especially to what the homie's doing and make the, get that bag. It's about getting the bag. I want him to learn from a young age to get the bag. I'm taking him to the studio so he can learn how to do studio, how to do beats oh, and all that. Jeez. So I, I'm taking him, bro. Get the, we're gonna we're about to blow up. You're gonna be in the family business. Go get in there. You're coming to the studio with me now, bro. I'm not taking gonna... him to the porn shoot though. Oh no, he's underage. Yeah, he's underage. As soon as he 18, turns 18, let's go. You hear that, Munchies? <laughs> he's gonna pop your tray with two big booty stitches, bro. I did not that? say it booty that. Stitches. He said exact exact. Are you words. like Boosie? Would you would you get a girl to, to hook up with him? Would you be like, hey, to one of your chicks, like, hey, go give him some some head? I could just go across the border and pay for one. Would well, you could pay for it in fucking Monchies, 55th you want Street a too, right? From, from TJ. Uh, he does, he, you ever been to a donkey show? No, I never been there. You heard about it though? Yeah, they have. Don't they have the chickens too? Uh, he's he's in high school. You see what I'm saying? Well, he's I shy, bro. Go. He's shy. My, my tiny crib, Mac. My little homie's shy as hell. Every time he sees my son, he'd be like, "Hey, mo- hey, Monchies. Hi, Monchies. Have you uh, fucked any big booty sitch?" And mm. Monchies, of course, he's gonna say no because he doesn't come outside out of that damn TV. <laughs> you know, he's in there. He's in there. Patrolling the Fortnite, well, whatever they be doing. Uh, X videos and lotion. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> pull, up, Fifi's. pull up with the Jergens. That was Fifi eating it up. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Crip Man, you eat Mexican food? Yeah, cuz we have, we have tacos. Uh, Every Lupo. day. Yeah, yeah about Every day. Go, huh, taco, chicken, and soul food. So when it bro. ain't Popeyes, there's, there's a lot of po- soul tacos food. going on. Like tacos. <clears throat> Respect. And the uh, Crip Witch, she makes some some good um, bro, Samoan, you can't, Samoan ass. You, you, why you always talk about her and then you make me delete the clips of you talking about her? Well, <laughs> she, 
she doesn't care anymore. Oh, she, she, she's crazy. Keep I, in mind, I, I don't just, know who this don't, person is. I don't want nothing to happen. Can you pull up? A, no, he really hit me saying, like, you got to delete this thing I said about the Crip Witch because she might put a spell on me. It doesn't matter because we got yeah. Crip Jesus. Bro! We're, we're going to bring Crip Jesus over in a Jesus. minute. He's going to come on soon. Come on, bro. Come I want to, no, we gotta keep it to four people, but he's gonna come on and we're gonna replace you okay. at a certain point. But I yeah. do want to get the story Lock from you. you your shit, oh, runner and gun, right? You got uh, locked up with a Billy Western, right? What happened? Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, so pretty much, uh, all right. Normally they do the, uh, pretty much they do a seventy-one day, uh, uh, you know the little whole shit, bro. Oh, uh, okay. uh, so I was supposed to come on over like probably, like, uh, kind of like like May first, something like that on hook. Uh-huh. You fired me, but they realized I was staying out of snubble. Mm-hmm. So they pretty much say, uh, pretty much my, my, my pro officer cut, cut not against me, fight me on hood. Right. So it, the little 10 day flash, anybody know what 10 day flash is, cut? It's uh, uh, the, the days cut, they uh, double though. Okay. You fight me. So within the five days, cut, that's already 10 days. So by the time you hit the county, you hit the CJ, on hood, cut, all right, it's a bill. I'm lucky, cut, like, this is $8,500 bill, cut. Mm-hmm. All right, fuck it. I call the hip slip. I said, can I clear the money off my YouTube? Clear my YouTube account, but can I get the fuck up out of here? Really? Oh, uh, and Cub, man of his word, he took my money and he made this shit happen. Wow. Wow. When uh, when Cub, when Odium Slim says on Big D Rock, his people, uh-huh. rest in peace, Cub, do everything Cub say. Wow. Oh, uh, shout out Odium Slim. That's fire. They got your ass out of there. Oh, uh, We had to get crazy. You know, it's, it's hard to trust motherfuckers, Cub. That's why I don't do relationships no more. Uh-huh. You stay in jail, Cub, you, trust, you can't trust nothing on the streets. Right. You fight me, but when you got solid motherfuckers cut or where you fight me, uh, that 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 won't fuck you over no money. I mean, I'm not a custer. Right. Now, if you, you a custer, I'm just gonna put you on here. Cause they gonna snatch everything from you, nigga. They gonna take all your money, bust you down, beat you up, take your chain off your neck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hood, you fight me, but uh, huh, he kept it solid and he he made sure shit happen. Right. Well, that's oh, good. Really? We needed you back on the streets because I seen Lupe stressing on her story oh, every Lupe, day. What, what's that audio slip say? Lupe, knock that shit off. Stop it. Stop it. It's because, you know, oh, I feel like, I, I, sometimes I feel like, I know I'm, I'm, I'm a little religious because we grew up in the Catholic church, so like, oh. I, you know, so I was like, damn, is God punishing me? He's taking everybody I care about, uh, uh, about a lot away from me, you know what I'm saying? So I was stressed the fuck. I was like, oh, his, like, somebody said. I think, Lupe, I would have came home May, uh, May, uh, May, May 1st. But you know, so I got well a phone call talking about he's going to get life in this, and I was like, oh, no. no. You was not saying Mama Bear. <laughs> no, shout out Mama Bear, Bear and Granny Bear. Bear. Well, shout out oh. Mama Bear and Granny, and Granny Bear. They don't know nothing about the system. Okay. You know, uh, I, say, you I don't be, I don't be saying gun. names, bro, no, but I got a call. Look, look, look. Odium Slim, Baby Snaps, you know niggas that been in and out the penitentiary or uh-huh. have done a lot of time? Niggas know how the shit go. Right. Don't let these motherfucking police trick you off the streets and they're not carrying a pistol and going back and, and um, pretty much trick you off the streets not carrying a pistol and getting killed out here, nigga. Mm. Don't let the jail scare you. That's how the fuck I You think I that's what the it. cops want? They want you to be moving around without your shit? Come so. on, cut ain't gonna never happen. Mm. Does I'm gonna keep por- it 50 fifth. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck oh, the fuck the your poor officer man. keep up with your IG? I mean, he's a fan. Hey, how do you, is he really? For how do you yeah, feel about feel all this? About the crib mat clothes and all that. What? He bought the crib mat clothes. Your poor yeah, officer. Uh-huh. How did he feel about everything that happened when all the situation was going on? You got DP'd and all this shit. I mean, did well, he mention it to you? Cut and cut and say shit about it. That's good. Nah, that's good. Good poor officer. He understands how it is. You know, sure. yeah, you gotta look at shit though, cuz I never have police contact. Police never see me. Right. So when Mickey ass police do see me, cuz out of nowhere. Oh, neighborhood crib. All right, can you see me worldwide? Whatever, on the internet, whatever. You know I'm on probation. Mm-hmm. So why would you come up and ask me if I'm on probation or parole? Call on neighborhood crib, but you ain't find nothing on me. But you said you found something on me. Mm. Oh, look, I'm getting real five minutes. I'm not finna let no motherfucker trick me off these streets on neighborhood crib. That's just how it is. That's the way to do it. Respect. Don't let nobody trick you off these motherfucking streets in the grave or scare you about jail. Only Custers is scared of jail. Fans don't see scared. On neighborhood crib. He said that shit. On oh, uh. How was it while you were in there though? You got it was two just faux fades, faux fades, faux fades. Faux fades. How'd they go? You still, I mean, got, still got the teeth. Still got my teeth cut because the, the niggas wasn't as big as me. You know how you got these niggas out on the streets cut that they think they bust the shit down? Oh yeah, you a nigga because you knock shit down. That don't mean shit in the county jail if you can't thunder you with your hands. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm big. I carry a lot of weight behind punches. Mm-hmm. You know, on hood. So be five. I, I know I know how it go. Be five when mother when motherfuckers see me, 
they already intimidated, so I already got the fight won. Right. Because I see that, that's, I, 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 I smell the cuss during cut. <laughs> so how I do it is I get cut, if I'm at wayside and it's between the bunks, and I rush cut and I beat the shit out of them, or under the stairs. Or if we in a cell, cut, I'm going to lock you in. Right. I'm locking you in, kid. I'm, you I'm lock them in the cell and then fight them. Well, I, I, I make sure they got the wall, cut. They put a crib. You got nowhere to go, cut. It's a wrap. And I know how to take punches. Uh. And then, you know, I don't know. Right. But is it like, I, I imagine that you are such a desired fade in the county. Oh, that yes. Any of your enemies they are probably love like, it. I want I, come in. <laughs> I am HK Destruction. Okay. On neighborhood crib. I get ready. You just start screaming your shit out, letting everybody know yeah. whoever yeah. wants it. Let's go. On neighborhood crib, and I watch everything. Remember God when damn. he called me? When he called, he called, and I was crying on the phone, uh -huh. and he was like, "Yeah, well, I'm gonna get ready to get go and do these phase," and I started crying even more. <laughs> you were worried. Yeah. And then uh, I'm see like, about, fuck. I mean, oh, he was gonna say, "Look at that, stop that shit, stop that shit now, on oh, crib, stop." Right. <laughs> Are all these and then she gets like that then granny bear and mama bear all uh, it's just a whole circle of fuckery but we gotta get oh god let's pay this lawyer ten thousand dollars <laughs> when you're not gonna get no time come on god, don't let these motherfuckers trick you in the pan you find me i told you we would go uh, with the court shit what was the, what was the offer what, small it, shit yeah. months he, he still don't want to know crib months Right. Yeah, he, Niggas ain't yeah. scared of jail. Can I stack your money on the streets? Go do your shit. You got to go do time. Mm. That's just how it go. He handles it like a champ. Yeah, yeah. No, mean, nobody's less no, worried no. about it than you. I'm cool, I'm cool. You were pretty upset with WAC 100 when you got out. Yeah, I'm good. Because Cub put all my information on the internet. Oh, Wacky Williams? That's your nickname <laughs> for him now? Where, wacky, where that, where, one uh, of my fans <clears throat> told me that. Wacky Williams. So, I, I, you know, they be every time I go on like... What you think about Wacky 100? Wait, think about, bro. We don't want to. We don't want to mention Wacky Williams. So, so, what exactly did he do? Because I thought I saw him posting, telling people to support you and get you out and everything. <clears throat> what What did he do exactly? It was. I think it was more of a clout type shit, cuz. Okay. Because he been telling oh, me that he that he fucks with you and he supports your movement and everything. Shit. What I think it was, cuz, was clout shit. What him posting what? you or? No, that shit covered more like some uh, Mickey shit. Okay. So it's Mickey. Now motherfuckers all around the world not only know my name, Cub, but what they do know on neighborhood crip is when the next court date is, this and this, this and that. Um, you find me? You think you put too much of your information? I mean, Cub, it say everything now. Right. You find me, so it's like, what the fuck? Oh. But uh, five miss people, they, they know motherfuckers' names and all that. Right. Oh. Uh, Are all those feet preparing you to fight Blueface? Uh, Cub, Cub, not a, he's, not, he's not a threat. Cut 150 pounds. Come on, cut. What? You got to do is lock cut <laughs> in and beat cut asleep. <laughs> lock cut in and beat cut asleep. Well, if it's a boxing match, you can't put him in a headlock. No, no, you squabble cut. You going to oh, beat okay, cut okay, asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, the homie uh, from 60600, cut a uh, professional boxer doing shit. Cut a real, real big nigga on her, like a. Uh, an uh, older nigga named a tiny in here from six so cub big and swole like a motherfucker. Right. Or uh, HK Foley real fucking big. Uh-huh. Oh, uh. On hood. That's facts. Yeah, you got to meet Foley one day. I'm trying to meet all your friends. You bring more friends every time you come than anybody who's ever been to this podcast. You already see my homegirl lady AD. That's yeah, lady AD. Yeah, with me. Lady. How the hell is there a lady AD? I don't know how AD's going to I'll be, be calling his girlfriend lady, lady AD. That's who, Who's lady AD? That, just the, that's that's my best homegirl right oh, there. Oh, that's Lady AD. Wow. Yeah, she always yeah, four, six. She rap like AD or something? Nah. She don't look like AD. Nah. <laughs> no, I look. You got to look at like this, cow. Everybody from from a hood got a name. Right. And a lot of names are similar. You find me. How many uh, Crips you know that if it's not C-Mac, their name is Mac something. Right. That's a Cripping thing. I know. Uh -huh. That's what's kind of funny about you is that you are probably the most unique gang member I've ever met. <laughs> and then you have kind of like a standard... Name. Gangster oh, name. Baby, Crip, when, Crip Mac could be oh, like a. The name? There's probably oh, been a lot of Crip oh, Macs, you know? Uh, when baby, when I got put on the baby snaps, gave me that name. He's like, uh, he's like, oh, uh, he say, uh, you Crip Mac, yeah, you C Mac. I loved it. Because when I first had you on here, uh, we were look. titling it C Mac the Loke. That's the same thing, yeah. Right, but we, we, we kind of had to like pick C one Mac to go with Loke, on Instagram, on Mac. YouTube, yeah. C Mac, uh, Crip Crazy. Crip Crazy. Same <laughs> shit. <laughs> For sure. Hey, you hear I got gonorrhea? <laughs> Oh, goddamn, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Bro, he got the leak for fucking his Do, Doing too much porn. Oh. God damn. Want me to beat her up for you, bro? Nah, she cool. Oh. Have you ever caught the clap before, Cena? I ain't never caught nothing, Cal. Really? 
Nah, I got. I guess I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you be wearing condoms? Uh, I bareback splash. Cause Damn. <laughs> Westerns. And you be fucking chicks off the street sometimes, huh? But they're, they're, they're nah, just nah, they're nah. just not like us sitch in a tent. Uh, no, no tents. <laughs> no tents and uh, no porta potty fucking. That's your standard. No tents yeah. and no porta. Well, most likely they might sleep on their mama's floor and have an ECT card, uh -huh. no job type shit. That's rich shit though. If you say no more tents and no more porta potties. Ah! No, it's more like a sitch, cuz you know she lived at her mama's spot, cuz uh -huh. she sleep on the couch. You find me, right? And all she got is ECT and no ambition in life, right? Just fuck her, try to give her some ambition. Yeah. When you guys do your issue, does she have to go home right away or she can sleep over? Uh, I mean, she, yeah, she, 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 she can stay over. Cause most times uh, on hood, I get uh, a nice room. See, they, they, they blew up the little spot about the Motel 5 and shit on hood. So now J Johnny C just, just there cause trying to see on neighborhood crib, what area. So I, I'm switching it up on them, come neighborhood Right, trip. because the Motel 5, was that where you were putting your dirty work in and that's where the cops <laughs> surrounded it and caught you? Or? Uh, yeah, Lupe Lupe knows all the shit. Right. How, Lupe how was you, crying. How did you get caught? Oh, right, did, you know, <laughs> did they really, like, storm the hotel? No, cause they, uh, you know, but people, so they do see me. Or if they see her, they know, they kind of figure what area in L.A. Uh-huh. Like, oh, yeah, you don't want pro, cuz, nigga's still out here in L.A., you find me? Uh -huh. So they just try to, they start figuring shit out, cuz, I, I, I stopped going to the Snooty Fox and the Mustang, cuz, I'm like, oh, yeah. I, so I, told, you, like, I told him to go I'm to like, that. No, that's a strip club. Get me. Man. The Snooty Fox is a strip club. No, 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 that's it's Western. A, oh. I mean, he, would, he, must have, he probably would have been safer there than the one I was taking him, bro. Yeah, it, it crashed. Go through that motherfucker. <laughs> now I got to figure out where I'm going to take him next. You know? <laughs> Most likely some of expensive shit, cuz. Yeah. I spent a, on a few hundred. Is that, is that yeah, a weird position to, to be you're in? Gonna have, you're gonna have to go up higher Spend in the rooms, bro. It's just like the LX type issues. Yeah. Oh, is that a weird position to be in, though, where you're in charge of getting this man ass? I don't think I can handle that job. Well, no, I find the women on Facebook. She's <laughs> on I just, Facebook. He, he, I told you, that's he, what he, I do. He does a okay, car. Okay. He got, he, he, I have my famous Instagram. I go on Facebook. I say, well, let me see. What, what, what kind? I, I like the more so the normal sitches. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Not the super crazy ass ones? No, I'm talking about normal. I don't really give a fuck about a five minute sitch. You fuck like normal chicks who like, like just like yeah. seeing you on YouTube and they're yeah, not like, oh God, associated with it. I ask him, I say, oh, yeah, so you like your pussy ass? She's like, yeah, like, you like your ass, oh, hey. She's like, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah, you like, hey, no, can I bust your ass off? <laughs> and some of them say yes, some say no. They say, no, I say, all right. I said, well, let me bust your coochie open. I still want to eat your asshole, though, sitch. Right. <laughs> and I just ask her, I say, oh, you know what you like to eat? You know, oh, hood. And we, uh, I drink my old eggs, my cream juice. Some of them like Remy. They're like, Hennessy, right? Lupe would go get it. Oh, hood. And I let them know, I say, oh, after that, Kel. We either get, we're not gonna leave you stranded. I'm a nifty nickel. Right. <laughs> you find me? I don't want nothing to happen to you. Uh -huh. But I let her know I'm a hoodster, sitch, not a trickster. Don't ask me for nothing else to get your ass off. Okay. Maybe if, they, if, they look, get, if they don't Lupe get out, they don't make. If they don't, don't make sure they get home. Yeah, they, I'm gonna make sure they get real, real uh, go cool home and hood. they get out if he says to get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah Lupe cool. They have like a money. system, huh? Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> neighborhood, bro. Neighborhood, bro. You got it. She's like, oh shit, I'm downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> you got any kids popping out soon? Because didn't you allegedly get all these girls pregnant? Uh, I, I did a couple. We don't, we don't know if I show. Mm. We're going to figure it out coming with a DNA test. You're going to do the DNA test. We're going to put you on Maury. It. Let's go on Maury. Can I bring the stitches on Maury? I love that idea. I'll be fucking mm -hmm. them in. Or Dr. Phil. All right, shout out Maury. And if they don't have the baby, we're going to spit on them and we're going to kick them in the ass with a pair of blue Chuck Taylors. Wait, who? What? The sitches. If, if, if they lie. If they, they lie. Oh, let's just. Damn. No or remorse. If, if we can't do it, we'll have a Lady AD or the homegirls oh. beat their ass. You know, I'm a man. I'm a big man. <laughs> That's smart. I don't, I don't want to do that. What time you say, go get Lady AD? I go, I don't need Lady AD. I'm going to go by myself. Right. Like hey, Lady AD is, uh, <laughs> Lady AD is a real play ball. Right. Yeah, she's oh, one of my favorite videos. She's one of the, the star studio. players of the, yeah. of the home team. Yeah, right. when you're in the studio <laughs> and your alleged baby mama's right there and you're telling her to bend down and bust it open for the fans. Oh, so. goddamn baby mama bear is a psychopath. <laughs> but I love her because of Tiny Crip Mac and the possibility of the baby. Tiny Crip Mac's my young homie. He's crazy as shit also. Mm. Isn't he crazy? Oh, he, that's my boy. <laughs> he crazy as a motherfucker. Oh. Have you seen that video? Well, I don't. I mean, I've seen so many Crip Mac videos that yeah. sometimes they all kind of blur together. <laughs> hey, 
bro, you got a dumb pack, bro. She she was talking to the, the she was talking with that was like the homie got his dumb pack. She exactly the he sounds just She's like real her. nice and everything, you know. That, that she just snaps one day. It's like oh god. Right. Um. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, she has Tony Mac. Remember Tony Mac, my cat. Right. Where he at? Uh, Tony Max with uh with Baby Mama Bear. Oh, he, he's just got his own thing going on. Uh, oh, he, he's doing well. Tony Tony Mac doing. Well. It's good to so hear. So she tells me she says uh, don't, Tony Mac can't live with no sitches of yours, no sitches. She's jealous of every fucking thing. Damn, it'd be like that. L- yeah. Lupe, you have any more words of wisdom for the people out there? Anything you want to share before we? I want to have a word with Crypt Never Jesus on here for sure. Suicide. Never commit suicide. Very important. Anything yeah. else you want to tell the people out there? Oh well, you know. When I started with, um, when I started dealing with Crip Mac, you know, I, I thought I was just just a driver, mm. and then like I, I I I guess I was good at what I was doing with Crip Mac, you know, the, the videos and but what I was doing with him, the way I was, you know, <clears throat> with him every day and be able to get things going, you know. Right. And I was like, man, I could probably do my own shit, you know, because he, he that's him, you know what I'm saying? I, I learn as I go, and I was like, man, maybe I could do my own shit. And then one day, me and Tiny Gun was going uh, to a podcast. And that, that's when the word time sir came on because he did nine years. Huh. But the whole nine years he was in there having conscious with the, with the inmates, bro. Right. You know, <clears throat> learning his skills. And I was like, when he came outside, like, I, you know, that's how I got the word. And then from the word, it became a shirt. Uh-huh. And from the shirt, it became, I, be, I started being a manager. Right. So I got like, <clears throat> I got Crip Jesus. I got Tiny Gun, Key Madonna, and KS. Them wow. all her artists, Kev. You're going crazy. I, time served. And then my, my, I got some like, bro. neighborhood bro time mm-hmm. served. She's like time fucking. Served. She's like Coach K out here. She's just fucking time finding served. all the artists. Yeah. She, like Dr. Dre. Records. No, I'm just Lu- I'm just Lupe, bro. I'm certified Lupe. Right. You know. You, and you're making shit happen for people, and I respect it. And I yeah, think she is. the people are fucking with you, and I think you really got a, a fan base bubbling out there. So you should start making some YouTube content and shit. Just well, to- she goes, I, I always shit, been. The, bro, she goes crazy on the TikTok. I always, I, see her on the I TikTok. always been the plug. You see her dancing with the sea lions yeah. and shit in the background. Oh, people love. Oh, I you love dance. animals. I talk about I talk about the lion. I was trying to pet a whole. I was trying to. I was trying to pet. Uh, uh, like 50 pet, I was trying to pet all the goddamn sea lions over there. They all used to run off the cliff and like they were gonna, they were gonna commit suicide. I, I, I didn't know never the homie. I, yeah, but that's what they do. They jump off right. the cliff. They never let me pet them, bro. Uh huh. So that's why I was able to do the TikTok right by them. I, you know, they used to see me every day. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah, I like I love animals, bro. That's amazing. Yeah. We're gonna get you some more animals. Yeah, it's about yes. to say. What? My boy, baby, running around. I was letting you know. Right. Cut doing uh doing the movies. Yeah. He doing uh also cause I got a book he wanna talk with you about real quick. Oh okay, quick. let's do that. It's for up sure. five you. Okay, we're gonna have a couple different people okay, on. Come yes. on. Do like ten let's minutes. Let's get the whole come team on, on here. Everybody, we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up. We're going up. We're going up. We're going up, bro. We're going up. Lupe, I'm sorry. We're gonna sub you out for Crip Jesus so we can learn. I already something. let Lupe know to get out. Yeah. We're going up, bro. Yeah, I already knew. I already know. Bring him up. And guess what? What's your Instagram too so they can stay in touch with you? Lupe Fiasco 31. And Bring the gonna, home team on. Come on. Right, let's go. It's Crip, our time. Crip Jesus, come on over here. Let's get let's get him on the on the uh, mic too. Oh goddamn, Crip Jesus. Very talented guy right here. On the, on the trenches remix. Oh, you already know, yeah. Uh, How did you meet Crip Crip Jesus? Let's ask that. Uh Crip Jesus is a homie cut from Fotis. Okay. I did a gang of time in uh in the penitentiary. Okay. And how'd you meet him? Uh through uh well shit, cut uh what was, gun, he, was that uh, yeah. the dessert video shit? Oh, okay, you were there. Dessert, yeah. put my tongue in her ass cheeks. cheeks. My shit, we was Love seeing that, that song. Everybody. Yeah, we yes. were seeing that yesterday. Right. <laughs> Why uh, you didn't how, dessert? But how, I don't know. A guy named Crip Jesus. I'm I'm not sure how he would feel about the the lyrics of putting the tongue in the asshole. Are, do you, are you c- kind of conservative in that way, or are you get down with that kind of shit? <laughs> talking about tongues and ass cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you see? <laughs> it was written <clears throat> at each man. Who walk his own destiny down the road. Uh huh. So that road to the ass cheeks and your tongue is up to you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Jesus. <laughs> How could I control your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> you said that shit. <laughs> Uh, Crip Jesus can save me from the crazy Crip witch. <laughs> when did you become Crip Jesus? Oh, you know what I'm saying? I got that name officially in 2020 when I became the leader of the Black Illuminati. You feel what I'm saying? But it started in prison, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. You know, Why uh, did they start calling you that? Well, you know, I was out of town in Mecca. You know, it's, it's, it's several Meccas. We got one here in Lamert Park. Mm-hmm. You see a lot of Africans meet there from all around the world getting cracking. Then we got the other one in Detroit where all the hustlers meet popping their collars. Then we got the 
a, <laughs> official black mecca in Harlem. I signed in in all three. It's okay. Crip Jesus. Right. You know, they gave me the name. You feel what I'm saying? They like my Cripping, but they really like my Jesus is in. Right. What, <laughs> what does the name really mean to you? Like, like, what does it mean? Like, how did they start calling you that? Was it just because your oh, vibe? It, no, was... no, no. It's just as simple as it sounds. I'm the blue god. You feel what I'm saying? I okay, come from a long cool. line of blue gods. You feel what I'm saying? There's many before me. You feel what I'm saying? We got Big G Body. That's as much as I can give you out the Black Illuminati yeah. for his name. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. He coming out the sixes. But I'm coming out the four. Four and six make ten. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Ten and O oh make one. For sure. How'd you end up doing all that time? Playing with them guns, man. Mm. The switchy on the glicky with the blicky, you get sticky. You feel what I'm saying? You want to know more? <laughs> yeah. You got to read loyalty don't exist. You got to see the movie. Oh, that's so, so that's what's really going on. That's Shout what you, out Baby you Runner. You put together yeah, a movie and a book? Hell no. Oh. Runner put that together. Oh, okay. Baby Runner, Kev. We're, at, once we get done speaking to you, we're going to have him on for sure. Yeah, so we're going to learn about that. Yeah. So, what was Spotty, your first Spotty, impression Spotty. of C-Mac? Like, what, what, was, like, what was your first impression? This is, you, see, y'all don't understand. This is this is. To y'all, you feel what I'm saying? This is real deal. Blue. Yeah, the whole, yeah, the whole you world what I'm saying? Back. It's real cool. Yeah, blue, low. You feel what I'm saying? Uniform <laughs> extras with the old English. This is what I saw. Just like y'all saw it in, in Colors and Miss Society. That's what I saw yeah, in real life. Right. So I didn't think nothing. I saw that go to homie. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's get it cracking. You feel what I'm saying? Then we linked up. We got, hey, we really got a couple songs, cuz, but I was out in Detroit in the snow and my phone froze up. So I lost the other song, cuz. You was fucking some, uh, some, some beautiful sisters. Some beautiful sisters in the snow. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, no, 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 hey, Crip Jesus. Man. No, no. This we man. was praying in the snow. <laughs> hey, you Crip Jesus. So guess what? You can't fuck Custer's wives, but Crip my can. Who said Crip Jesus can't fuck Custer's wives? Where'd you read that? Well, it's in that adultery if you fuck a man's wife. <laughs> True, yes, yes. Yeah, right, I, 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 I'm, I'm Crip you Jesus. You're talking about Holy Bible Jesus. No, no, oh, it's not Crip. Oh, I come guys. from the 120 it's nation of guys and earths. Whole right. different nation. All right, well, go ahead. Damn. So how long you been out on the streets <laughs> after after that bid? 14 years? Woo! Been about two and a half, three years, something like that. I don't want to say too much, you know what I mean? Because I, I talked my way off parole. Oh, okay. The first nigga to pop it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and so what have you been doing since you got you out? Know, you want to hear how I did it? Yeah. So I told that bitch, I went to this place <laughs> called the Moore Science Temple. I don't know if you've never heard of it, but they teach you all about law and shit up in there mm-hmm. for black people. So, you know what I mean? Well, people that think they black. So you come out, you know this shit. So I said, man, I signed a contract with y'all when I was 17 for 15 years. You feel what I'm saying? So it's over when it's over. All these niggas doing extra parole. <clears throat> nah, when your contract is over, if you take a deal, that's a wrap. So I called up there. I banged on them, cussed at them all that. They couldn't believe it. They was like, you're not getting off nothing. Next thing I know, I got my discharge paper. So wow. you feel what I'm saying? That's fire. He yeah. finessed the system. I ain't finessed nothing. I told them the truth. Niggas be scared. <laughs> wow. That's what it's about. You just kind of, you, you seem like you have that kind of personality where you just tell people what it is and they just kind of seem like they want to just accept it. Nah. The truth <laughs> is the truth. Niggas reject me real quick. You feel what I'm saying? But the truth is the truth. But you keep you know pressing. Nah. No? You know what I'm saying? The truth, either you accept it or you reject it, but niggas going to accept the truth. It's interesting. It's really a test on me and it's a test on every man. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like Runner said, loyalty don't exist. You feel what I'm saying? So loyalty niggas ain't niggas ain't loyal. It ain't because <clears throat> oh they fuck with you and they gonna accept it. If it's real, it's real and they accept it. If mm-hmm. it's not, it's not. Niggas might be finna kill you and get the right phone call and be like, all right, you feel what I'm saying? Right. It's the truth. Uh, w- like how how peaceful, how dedicated to peace are you at this point in your life? Because you're hanging out with somebody who, in many ways, it's what is see what is peace? He's got you feel issues. What I'm He's nah. pushing issues. In the five percent nation, guys, Earth, we teach that peace is mathematics. You feel what I'm saying? It's not people standing around going kumbaya. That's what the devil wants you to think. You feel what I'm saying? It's all about everything being in order. Man, <clears> woman, <throat> and child. You feel what I'm saying? He protects that order. Oh. He protects 55th Street. You feel what I'm saying? Oh. You stay over there where you at. You move like that. You doing custard shit. That's mm. out. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? We stand on truth. That's we stand what, on our that's square. That's what Crip Jesus you know what I'm won't, won't protect you anymore. You do custard shit. You yeah. do. Nah, I'm not protecting you. Period. Each man protect himself. That's the first lesson: self-preservation. Islam. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> For sure. Shout out Louis Farrakhan. <laughs> do you uh, oh, like like what 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 are you trying to do with all the music and everything? Because you're on his project, his album. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's just the beginning. You feel what I'm saying? I'm fucking with Lupe Time, sir. We got Killer Tiny Gun. Then you know I'm off top fucking with Runner T4. So the whole mm-hmm. glove come together as a collective. We spreading around Big Bad F Gang, Out the Mud Entertainment. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Fatso, all type of niggas, mm-hmm. Slim. Everybody rising up. You feel what I'm saying? We've been fucking around in the trenches together. Mm-hmm. As kids, it's all that. Different circles of niggas, and we all just, it's almost like when y'all literally like, see you at the top. So now we just all the niggas that's still around doing what we do, you know what I mean? I be out of town most of the time, but I'm gonna fly in and tap in with my niggas all the time. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? 
Respect. <clears throat> For sure. We're going to see more music coming from you two together soon? Music, videos, all that. You feel what I'm saying? Documentary, interviews, you know what I'm saying? And then we both working with, like we said, Tiny Gun, you know what I'm saying? You got the uh, Real Risky TV. You feel what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah, Adam's met Tiny Gun many Oh, yeah, times. you feel what I'm like saying? I like Tiny Gun. Good yeah. guy. Uh, that's just not awesome. interview with him. Dessert. Dessert. Put my tongue in her the ass, ass cheeks. cheeks. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, that's the pioneer right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what you need to be talking about, about if you didn't have the dessert. Look, should we talk to Tiny Gun? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get him sub in. Crib Jesus, I, I love this guy, though. I think he's a superstar. Shalom, alam, alam. I think th big things are going to happen. How, how do they tap in with you? What's the Instagram or the oh, YouTube? Oh, yeah, at Crip underscore Jesus. That's the only place you got to spell it funny like that. Everywhere else, it's just Crip space Jesus. I'm the only. Oh, my bad. Hold on. At C-R-I-P underscore Jesus, like Jesus, J-E-S-U-S. If, if you're watching this, you better know how to spell Crip. Facts. Crip Jesus. I mean, it's in his name, too. It's in both of your names. <laughs> Running loyalty don't exist. Right. For sure. Tiny Gun. All right, Tiny Gun, let's, 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 let's get a word. Get introduced to it. Man, if I made a song about eating ass, the last thing I'm going to be oh. thinking is I'm going to put Crip Mac on this shit. But it worked. Exactly. It worked. I don't want Crip Mac anywhere near my ass. <clears throat> Gun it uh, running that shit going on. Tiny Gun, how you feeling? I'm good. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. What's going on, man? Nice to find you having you on camera right man, here. Man, I've been trying. Yeah. You feel me? Tapping I've been in. Trying. We got I've been Crip tapping in. How'd you meet Crip Mac? What's going on? Shit, I met him just. We neighbors. So it's like. I Coach know Warren is. It's, it's and that's my brother. That's Cut oh. Crowther. Right. Coach Warren. You met Coach Warren. I love Coach right. Warren. Falcon Fest. That's Cut Crowther. Great yeah. guy. Uh -huh. So one time he brung Crip Mac, like. Crick Mac need to stay here for like three days. We stay together. On oh, 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 neighborhood yeah. trip. And you look at him and you're like, what the <laughs> fuck? So what? Hey, it is what it is. You help your homies. <laughs> My son yeah. go around him. Yeah, Coach Warren. It's oh, good. Uh. So what was, what, how'd you feel when you first met Crick Mac, though? What was your impression of him? I was like, neighborhood. Right. We straight. You got to be brothers? It was funny to me, though. You know, I'm, I like his personality. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. At least he ain't no custer, so what he's talking about is real, but it's still funny. I don't give a fuck, you yeah. feel me? Yeah. So I respect it. I, uh, this my guy now, you feel me? Right. Respect. And he's a good dude. He, he's yeah, I feel a lot people. of homeless people. It don't, huh? The homeless people, people huh? with money should sometimes humble themselves and feed them. Right. Yeah. But people with money, you shouldn't have to humble yourself to feed people with money. Right. He would, though, you feel me? He also made it clear that he doesn't have sex with them, though. Hey, that's, oh, that's no, that no. man. Don't have sex with him, man. That's him. You need a house before you can get this dick. Right. You need an apartment, respect, short. Respect, respect. I mean, they can come five the room. Yeah. Respect. <laughs> they respect. can come five the room. <laughs> Tell me about the book in front of you, man. Yeah, what's the book? Man, this loyalty don't exist. This is my boy, Baby Runner. He finna come out here. Can I see that real quick? Right. Yeah, sir. I got to bring it up. just four minutes, Adam. No, no. Oh, uh, We're going to talk to him after we talk to you for sure. Oh, uh, but, so, but, okay, so. Make sure shit happen. Did you, did you do a bunch of time? Oh, well. I did nine years. I've been out three years. Wow. And I've been to this. When I was in there, I got inspired to rap by my boy Gutter. He was in there doing <clears> nine <throat> years. Okay. He's out. So I started rapping and doing shit in there. I got good like comments, good reviews. So I got out. Since I've been out, I've been out three years. I got off parole. I was on tour on parole. Mm -hmm. I done been on tour with Max. So I done been on shows, 20,000 people. Up. Yeah, I was on that Brandon Banks tour. Oh, wow. I've been wow. on street, real street fest, all that. Like, didn't have no manager. Me and Lupe just connected. We gang now. You feel <laughs> me? But me, just pressing risk takers. I done got out and right. made a name for myself. So what'd you do nine years for? Risk takers clothing. Oh, Man, yeah. uh, Cause I got the clothing line. <laughs> yeah, risk takers clothing all day. But I got nine years on some fabulous shit. I didn't even do nothing on camera, but not being ready, not having my increments up. <clears throat> I need couldn't afford a lawyer, so I gotta get stuck with a deal because I damn sure ain't finna tell. Wow. You feel me? But long story short, somebody snatched the chain and I was involved with it, so I went to jail. Wow. How was, how, was that shit crazy as fuck? Or what, what was it That's like? my third time in prison, so it's a regular program. I ain't saying I'm no jailbird or nothing, but I just know what to expect already. If right. I keep fucking up and keep getting caught, you better know what to expect every time. So what was the hardest part about doing nine years? My family, mm. my people dying, my homies <clears throat> dying. Missing all that shit, huh? Participation, can't help my peoples, you feel me? That's the main part of just being in there. It's be like, man, this shit fabulous. Cause you just a bill. Right. You just finna call every time and try to, you need something. Right. You feel me? So it's like, I don't want to be a burden <laughs> on nobody. Right. For sure. But so then you got out and you decided you want to start rapping? Yeah. I decided in there. Right. But it's just like game banging. If I'm gonna be from the hood, I'm gonna do it. Mm. Cause I don't need nobody <clears> saying <throat> nothing about me. You right. feel me? So, okay, I'm a rapper. I'm finna full fledged rap. 
You feel me? I got the hood part locked in because uh -huh. I did my participation long before a rapper. You right. feel me? So it's like, I got that locked in. So niggas start rapping. Yeah, I'm finna press all the way with the rapping. You feel the me? Reputable for the crib. Yeah, sir. It's the tiny gun, you can find me anywhere. Mm hmm For sure. So uh, what was it? Do you have a lot of songs about eating ass or is that just the one? To keep it all the way 100. That's every song. <laughs> <laughs> I would never even write a song about eating ass. Okay. You so he me? inspired you to eat some ass on the song? I was inspired on that. When that was the hook, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Oh, so you hopped on his song. It wasn't, I thought it was your song. That, no. It was it, it, pretty song. much, cause, yeah. But look, you remember I got uh, when I got out of jail? It was good. Oh, I'll tell you about the dessert song. And I said, uh, Coach Warren was, was going to the, you know, the studio. Uh -huh. right. the studio, we put this shit. It's like, yeah. Right. Right. Oh, uh. Definitely. You do eat uh, ass, though? Man, if I got to. If, if, you got to. <laughs> if she it demands it. It depends. You feel me? Right. I'm keep it all Make clean. sure she it takes a hot snubble bag. Man, uh, if mm. it's up, it's up. Clean. It's no, 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 no. It's a hot ass snubble clean. bag. Oh, it's going to be clean. Anyway, go fuck oh, with me. Crap. It's going to be in and out the If I got to eat a shitty ass, I'm going to do destruction <laughs> for that shit. Yeah, respect. Oh, um, crap. Show. Hot snubble bag. For sure. Have you ever had a bad situation while eating ass? I never have, Ken. I have. You've had a bad situation? Yeah, yeah, I got a turd on my tongue on my tongue. Oh no. Oh goddamn. Crip Jesus, pray for this man. Yeah, yeah no. He I've, I've been talking to him about that. He's gonna be praying for me. <laughs> okay, so um you got anything you want to tell the people to look out for before we yes, get sir. the next guy on? Yes, sir. Homecoming too. Risk taker music. I got my own YouTube, real risky TV. Mm. Go to my regular YouTube, Tiny Gun, no space. Instagram underscore tiny gun. Man, I got plenty of shit coming up. But Real Risky TV, I want y'all to really tap into that. I'm filming everything. I'm doing interviews with a baby video at the end. So I want y'all to um, tap into that. You inspired me to do some interviewing type shit. Hey, I appreciate that. It's good to know. It's good to yes, hear. Yes, sir. Show. Sure. Sure. Right, Lawrence Tony's We're going to shout out my nigga I'm running right now. He up next. Yeah, Free Leaf. Good to meet free you, Free BSK. Man. And look at yeah, this guy. Free with HK Four Leaf. Look at this guy with the fucking gallon. Five shot. Oh, uh, he... He's coming on with the book, I think, yeah. We're going to learn some more about the book right now. Okay. So uh, introduce yourself. First off, let me say we in the building. Gangland, we in this bitch, you feel me? On the hey. real. Hey, you know what I mean? I'm, uh, baby runner, the general, you feel what I mean? Uh -huh. It's a uh, pleasure being here, Adam. The reason why we so juiced, right? Yeah. Because... Nobody ever give us no motherfucking action around here. I'm from Vernon, man, and we appreciate it, man. You feel what I'm saying? Appreciate like that, man. me, man. Honestly, dude, right. like, I, man, I, man, I've been around this motherfucker doing doing a whole lot of shit, bro. But I always been creative. But there ain't no outlets where we at. You know what I'm saying? And the people that was inside the game already, that was allies or whatever the fuck, they kept us out of there because we really a wild ass hood. Uh -huh. You feel me? Like. The people that hang around us is wild as a motherfucker. Yeah. C Mac being one of them. Case you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got free shit. HK Foley yeah. from the rest of the Foley free crew. We outside. You feel me? You know what I mean? Oh, so this is a big opportunity right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, if, yeah. if, if nothing else come from this again, nigga, no. That the Foley's is in the building and we coming. You feel me? Can we oh, oh one time? Okay, so you're doing big things though. You wrote a book. Like, like what, yeah. what, what happened in your life that led up to you wanting to write a book? Man, I'm gonna tell you this one time, right? I was in I was in the feds and shit. You feel me? I went to the feds for popping a nigga in his ass and shit outside oh, the wow. club. You feel me? You know what I mean? You know, they freed me. You know what I mean? So uh <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? So uh I was in there and I was just I, I read a lot of shit. So, you know what I mean? I was reading uh interview with uh Ice Cube and uh he was talking about John Singleton. He told he said John Singleton told me that, man, I, mean, I should write a movie. He like, man, I can't write no fucking movie. You know what I mean? It's a gang of all the shit. He like, whatever. So he like, man, if you can write Steady Mobbing, you can write a movie. And I rap too, though. You feel me? I, as a matter of fact, I honestly was viral before viral was viral. Like, I really been a personality over here. Y'all might not remember but it's this face because I look a little different and shit. But I am the nigga that was in the alley on Why We Bang. You feel me? Talk about, we the noodle knockers, cuz. You feel what I'm saying? Go look it up. You know what I mean? It was viral before we even knew what viral was. When the internet first started. Right. You feel me? So, I rapped. <clears throat> I did a lot of shit or whatever. So, I felt that when he said that. He like, yo. You know what I mean? You could, you could write. And I, and I was a storyteller. You feel me? So, I'm like, fuck. I could write a story, I, and I, why not write a story about 
where I'm from right. every day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, shit, nigga, that, I, 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 know, I, I know I know stories like that. And then I know that my homies can act that out. Why? Because we sit there on the block all the time. You know the homies. We sit there yeah, make yeah. fun of niggas. I'm like, bro, you actually can act, my nigga. You feel me? So, right. you know what I mean? It, it, it was a little task, though. But so is I this movie it. you're working on, is it like a serious movie, a comedy movie, a mixture of both? Nah, man, this shit called Loyalty Don't Exist, man. It got, But it got everything, because I okay. you know, I do skits and shit. I've been seeing your shit. Your shit. Right. You feel me? Shout out to your shit, man, on the real. My baby mama right here, she going to be happy. Yeah, I'm with a bitch on the real. We got to get the collab. <laughs> she stuck around, yeah, bitch. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, collab, yeah, we going to fuck around, man. I got I, man, I got a series called uh, uh, Surviving Tina Turner and shit, and it's really Ike Turner's story about, uh, you know what I'm saying, about, because uh, he never got to tell his side though you feel what i'm saying like it's hilarious you know what i'm saying so you know he so he telling our team it was really you know what i mean an aggressor in a lot of this shit. Uh-huh. he wasn't trying to bother remember the, remember the scene with when he she was outside he came in and, what year did that movie come out i don't know but i like the idea of telling the story from the perspective oh, yeah. of ike that's right funny. bro like that was a lie the way she I just came in and whipped her because what is this? come on man we, yeah, we gotta okay, hear gotta story. Shit. Fuck with me, man. It's You're called Survivor. Guy. It's called Survivor T the Turner, man. Right. You know what I mean? So Goddamn. So, so how'd you got to make me? Man, look, man. Okay, so I'm a I, I, so I'm a goon from my area and shit. That's so people chop you know, it out. You know what I'm saying? Crit uh-huh. Mac is a crazy dude, man. When I first met this dude, before he was famous, right? Vernon Western. I remember, I remember, I don't know if you remember this shit, right? You know what I'm saying? Right, you know what I'm saying? Hardhead FIP and Lady Ducky. Right. Uh, uh-huh. And this nigga, and this nigga crit back, man. So I went to the, I, when I went to jail, I get out, man. This nigga is, he just nigga live wire and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, I'm like, yo. And then one day he like, I remember this nigga was like, when I get my income taxes, <laughs> when I get my income taxes, I'm about to buy some some big booty bitches and some motherfucking, and a hella, and, and hella case of uh, old English, right? So it fucked me up. I'm like, bro. Little bro, you probably should probably put that inside of a business or something. <laughs> and he went big. He know. was like, I was like, nobody tells me what to do. I was like, bro, all right. You know what I'm saying? So I blocked his ass. You feel what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I said, fuck this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm like, right? Oh, God so damn. He's, such a, man, he's such a good nigga, though, bro. He hit me uh, back up on another page. He's like, bro, no, nah, I ain't like that, man. You know what I'm saying? You a real one, bro. And I fuck with you. I'm like, man, all right. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't know how to take him. What the fuck? Because he went up. So, you know what I mean? And then, I so, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> and now, now this nigga make, you know what I'm saying? You make a living out of it. So the whole thing is, man, just be yourself, man. No matter what niggas tell you, you feel me? No matter what the world thinks that you're supposed to be, man, just be your fucking self, man. And that's where he, that's where he's shining at, man. The nigga gonna keep it real. Yeah. And he doing shit that niggas ain't did for us, for our area, bro. Uh-huh. Like, that shit is big, bro. You putting one of our yeah, biggest, because I'm a thinker. Out King Five figures. Right. You're gonna meet King Five figures soon. Okay. And because King we don't got no outlets, bro, Shout out, my, you know what I'm saying? We get niggas that stay that with the talent, like uh-huh. myself, that go back and forth to jail, back and forth to jail, back and forth to jail. Nigga, now we got hella niggas with talent that's still in jail. Shout out x Fo, shout out Doty Six, you feel what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah, Doty Six. Free my nigga uh-huh. Holly Rock, you know what I mean? Free my nigga Arlington yeah. Blue, you know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Eight uh-huh. Boy, you feel what I mean? Like, you just got all these niggas, man, that got, you got viral niggas that's just sitting mm-hmm. behind bars, you feel me? Right. And they still working. You feel me? Oh, every yeah, nigga you get from this area, this is one of the most talented areas in, in Shout LA. Out flip you feel me? Every person you get from this area uh-huh. is gonna have four and occupations, bro. Mm. TG, sick, how much shit you do, TG? Cut the, the, the Spotty Fodies got a lot of fucking talent. Oh, Crip Jesus, oh. how many fucking occupations you got, baby? You know what I'm saying? And breaching. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> T4. You know what I mean? I, I mean, it just get crazy. It, it get crazier and crazier, man. So we appreciate you, Adam, oh, bringing this no. up over here, man. It's and we pleasure, up. Man. Oh, yeah. real. I want to check the book out for sure. Oh, for sure. Oh, hey, look. So I got, I got one for you. Oh, I got one for you. Come on, man. Oh, this is going to the No Jumper Library. Plan. We not playing, man. There you go. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Loyalty don't Can fucking exist, it. man, for y'all, man. Y'all check it out, man. You sure. feel me? Loyalty you know what I mean? Don't exist. It don't exist, man. Do y'all believe what y'all think about that? He got a, he got a, 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 a movie clip of it, Adam. Yeah, I got a movie clip too, man. Yeah, oh, trailer, look, 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 trailer. Look, YouTube. Okay, yeah. Y'all go check it Adam. out, man. Look up Gas and Battles, man. It's on YouTube, Adam. man. Hardest motherfucking Adam. movie that's that's out. It's and a we YouTube mended. clip, right? You're not going to leave it, Kel Neighborhood Crip. It's like 55 seconds on hood. Uh-huh. Or maybe a, a five seconds longer. I got to see this. You, you, you should, I want to see if you can let the people. I directed check it. This everything, bro. Out. 
What do they search on YouTube if they want to see the clip? Loyalty oh, don't gotcha. exist. Movie trailer. Movie trailer. Okay. Loyalty it's don't exist. Glory. Or look at my page, it's Gas glory. and Battles. You feel me? My Instagram, Hey Runner, H E Y R U N E R. You can go look on oh, that if you haven't found Like Run and tell that. No sense. No censor. All neighborhood crypt. The censor. With talent out the Spotty Fodies a real crip. Uh. Man, really, really a pioneer, dude. Really was doing in movies and doing all that, man. Oh, like oh. my bro, you feel me? Right. And this right here, though, I directed. You feel I wrote the book. The book is actually the first written in the format that it's written in. Okay. You feel it's me? Written it's like written like a movie. It's written like a movie. Right. But you can read it though. It's not written like exterior or interior. Mm. And once you like read the first, second page. Oh, I see you what you're saying. It's a script, basically. It's like yeah, that. it's okay, a script. Yeah. Bam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and it's like, you know what I mean? It's the first one. It's either because you either got a screenplay or you got a, a book. You feel right. me? And it's a combination of both. You know what I mean? So, uh, Man, so I already had the vision, so I directed that shit, man. I I, I brought the cast and I brought some some real talented people in there, man. We really mm -hmm. putting on for our area, man. Y'all gotta check that shit out. It's the hottest shit in LA. It's not Boys of the Hood. It's not Minister Society. None of that. They, they never said where they was from. Y'all know that, right? Mm. They never said I'm from Six O and Boys in the Hood. Right. You know what I'm saying? He never said, "Oh, I'm from Great right. in Minnesota Society." This right here, we got the motherfucking, we got the Forties, <clears throat> we got the Hoovers in there, we got the Fifties in there, mm. we got the motherfucking, we got the, we got the Troubles in there, mm. we got the motherfucking A Track Gangsters in there. We got every every hood. We got opposition. This is the first time something's being done like this, where people could actually come through and do a project. And you can't do this shit if you a Custer because you better not have niggas in your fucking movie. Talking about fuck your hood, Oof. Buster. But mm. I can do it because I'm a local and they know I be on my shit. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So so this can't be done mm. or mimicked by somebody that's Mickey. What do we need to know about the Fodies? Because I've noticed that everything's Spody. D what Spody, the fuck? Cat. You see us, right? We this is what the that. fuck you need to know I'm about us. Bottoms, you feel me? This is what you need to know about us. We out here. And even when we grimy, we still Spody. You know what I'm saying? We'll still fuck your sitch. <laughs> Buster, that's my nigga say. Nifty. You feel me? Nifty and Spody. Nifty, nifty and Spody. You feel me? We right there by each other. Comedy, so the swag comedy duo. That could be like yeah. the comedy duo You name. feel me? You know what's crazy? They say because I got a little grimy ass voice and shit, I sound like this nigga. They be oh, like, man. yeah, they I don't be think like, sounds like no, him, no listen. <laughs> no listen. It was, it was funny. DJ Flip up in there and they're like, somebody's on the phone, whatever, and I'm talking. They're like, is that Crip back in the back? And that's an ongoing joke for that nigga. So, mm. you know, he loved that shit. <laughs> Shit, but you know, yeah, we can do some shit. Until you Shout out DJ Flip and 808 Records. Yeah, you, know, you, see, you see the 808 oh, Cartel? 808 Cartel Records. Both of them, fuck it. All oh, of them, yeah. Records, everything, do everything. Tap in with them, cop. Let's go, for sure. Uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm definitely going to check the book out for sure. Uh, for sure. Crip Man, anybody else you want to have step up and, and, and speak? Yo, chime in, man. It's uh, your boy, man. We going to get up out of here. Oh, hook, huh? Oh, hook. Come on, cop. Oh, oh yeah, well, I was, four, I've been talking. Four. Hey, very nice I'm to meet you, man. We got so many. We get introduced to so many like little mini interviews within the interview. We learning about so many different these, people. But these is real low. So ain't nobody customers. You are really helping me learn a lot about what's going on yeah. out here. Right. I'm sporty as of today. Um, <laughs> gotta keep it sporty. You know okay, so I introduce go. yourself. I'm T4, man, aka AD the Low. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to my nigga AD. He just left too. We go way back, but yeah, man, I'm T4, man. In the hood, music, in the hood, clothing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Gas, and that's what we doing right now. And so. Uh, what's what's your story? Like, how, how would you describe where you're coming from? Man, shit, I'm coming out the 40s. You feel me? Saying Easy Call, Eighth Avenue, Vernon. I'm an Avenue nigga. You feel me? Saying okay. all side niggas also. But yeah, man, we coming from the Murray Park area. You feel me? Pushing this cold line right now, getting this shit going. For sure. And so, how do you know Crip Mac? Ah, oh, shit, man. I, I'm fucking with Crip Mac, man. It's to the Vernon homies. The Western, yeah, to yeah. the homies. Vernon and Western. You know what I mean? Because you've been in the hood a lot with, 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 with my little bro, FIP, Tiny, uh, Tiny Horror. Oh, Nate So that's how I, I, I first knew, oh, knew Cuz uh. already. You feel me? And then when Cuz dropped that uh, that Carly C little shit in the jail, <laughs> I was like, look at Cuz. Cuz trying to start. He get really on this bullshit. That's old school Crip yeah, Mac. Yeah, yeah, that's Crip Mac homies. before Crip Mac exactly. was really well Before all the now, tattoo yeah. cut had no, that Firebirds. Before the eight no jumper interviews. Yeah, all the set. Yeah. For sure. So, so what uh what you got going on? What, what are you uh, man, on? I got a clothing line, man. You know, I got dumb videos out right now. You feel me? I got a lot of shit going on. We fuck with the movie. I'm in the movie also. You feel me? And oh, you're in this movie. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, me on, that's me on the cover oh, right there. Right, yeah, right, that's right. me on <laughs> So uh, yeah, my bro wrote that movie. Um, we got just going crazy right now. We got a sequel to this shit. We working on the comedy and shit. You feel me? Saying so, uh. I, I do a lot of blind, behind the scenes shit too. You feel me? Saying so, that's why I really be doing my shit, pushing the homies. You know what I mean? Well, I still do my shit on the side. You know how I go. Hell yeah, that's what's up. How'd you feel when he told you like they're gonna be people from different hoods uh, coming together? Were you like, 
Okay, cool. No, I'm, I'm more <laughs> open-minded, especially when it comes to my bro. Oh, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've been doing this shit for a minute, so I got homies from everywhere, too. Yeah. So it only made sense to really make it more reality instead of just trying to sugarcoat the shit to just put it about <clears throat> our hood. That shit wouldn't have made no sense. We trying to do this shit for the world. We yeah, putting yeah. on for the hood, but we doing this shit for the world. You feel what I'm saying? So they can re really see L.A. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just like yeah. bro was saying, niggas that wasn't saying hoods. We really saying niggas hoods and niggas names. We feel me? We doing certain shit. Nigga, we pulling up. We, it's really going on. It ain't really like no fixing like you know I mean you know other shit be kind of fake like this shit more real it's gonna be more where an out of town nigga can understand LA more when they see this movie like okay and we see what, understand, what LA really about you feel me without even coming out here they'll see this movie and we're like okay we got a, we got a little bit more glimpse of what's going on with this game banging shit right you know what I'm saying and what do you feel about the state of game banging in LA like shit this shit this different shit. than it used to be but yeah cause I, I was doing it I've been doing this shit for a little minute now so it's like man this shit, it changed the internet changed a lot of this shit mm. you know what I'm saying we didn't have internet when I was, when I was really out here own one we didn't have no internet we didn't have facebook none of that all we had was like myspace and party party line and shit like that <laughs> yeah. so we had to really like pull up on you if we wanted to get up on your shit you feel me now right. it's like nigga can go live and get a location and then pull up on you that's how a lot of niggas getting murked right. nigga can find out nigga location off live or from, from yeah, a bitch or something if you, if you go if you go live yeah within your instagram uh fans or youtube whatever here hey, just just see ready yeah <laughs> That shit, I mean, if he's just like, oh, yeah, and you're slipping, like, you're tripping, you're getting chipped. Yeah. yeah. You Come be on, careful don't do these no days. cut hey. shit. Stay yeah. alert. You tell your team to not go live while you're in here? Oh, no way. Don't go live. Nah, nah, we, nah, we all, everybody know we all on the same page. Whenever I'm with Crip Mac, I ain't filming shit on my story. I'm filming it, and then I'm putting it up later because right. <clears throat> I don't want to get into any shenanigans. Nah, that's, mm. a, that's some good advice to yourself. Mm. Always keep that. Especially with him. Yeah. <laughs> and, and just in general. <laughs> For sure. Because, you know, the customers in the county jail, they, 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 they you know, holler at you. All right, let, let the best man win because somebody going to try their luck uh, on mm. the evil crib. Yeah. I'm on the main line. I'm in 3200. I'm here, motherfucker. Right. Oh, the evil crib. I'm going to get all these fades out the sweat. And if I get bailed like I got this tight, all right, cut all wood. And the was mad. Really? Oh, you heard, okay. You just heard it the worst. Hey, oh, yeah, this nigga just bailed out. It's a $10,000 fucking bail mm. on neighborhood crib. There you go. Oh, uh, Call situation. Anything man. else uh, we need to know before we uh, wrap this interview? I know. Remember. We, I think we got a porn star. Don't let. Hold on. Remember. Don't ever let nobody trick you off the motherfucking the streets. streets. Oh, real. Or trick you out your increments. Or trick you out your increments. Also, care. don't let motherfuckers uh, with authority care, scare you into getting killed. Mm. Oh, neighborhood crib. Everything gonna see all right. That's real. Oh, really? Hey, we fuck, we smoking Russian creams, but fuck Russia though. Some shit. Here's some. Uh, At least the government. Some little mostly <laughs> shit from the homie. Oh, shit. we got some drip. <laughs> oh, oh what? Some crib maker. Look at this. Oh yeah, I need some new wear. Okay, I appreciate you. I need all mine. It's more than fashion. It's a way of life. Damn. So I could be coming through and I need all mine. Drippy I got, fucking sweatshirt. I, I, got, I got a couple things for you too. So, uh, from my shit, from my clothing line too, in the hood. That's Ooh, what I'm yeah, I was like, I took these headphones yeah. off. We got the pants yeah. too? Oh, I, I don't bother be drippy. I might yeah. have to come in looking be fresh out. as fuck. They go one of them right here, cuz. Oh, yeah, right yeah, here. cut. Oh, in the hood. I want that blue issue right yeah, there. I got you. I got you. you so this one? Yeah. I got oh, that, 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 I'm behind the scenes with this shit, man. T4, T E4, easy call, in the hood clothing. That's how y'all find me on a shit. Real spotty, forty. You know what I mean? Saying the nigga go keep this shit spotty and keep it nippy, like my nigga say. You know what I mean? So, well, uh, yeah, man, real shit. Y'all really be on the lookout for this loyalty. Don't exist. Movie is coming, it's dropping, and we got a sequel to come to it. And I'm one of the uh, the stars, so you know y'all better get ready on the day. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, Crip Man. Just keep putting us on to all the, all the yeah. up and coming talent, man. <laughs> yeah. like talent oh, man, you know what? Here. I'm not I'm not a selfish motherfucker. Oh, shout out to my nigga Thirsty P, dead homies. And my little bro on hood, Lean Lords on hood. Y'all go tap in with that right now. That shit going crazy. Babyface Ray, all the Detroit niggas wearing the Lean Lord hats, fucking with the dead homies clothing. So we really got a lot of different bases right now. So y'all be on the lookout for the forties, bro, on hood. Uh -huh. Coming up fast. Crip Mac, we appreciate you so much for coming in again and telling us what the fuck's going on. Yeah, yeah, on you know, hood. Uh, and uh, introducing us to so many great yeah, people. Shout yeah. out to Lupe, man. The people going crazy for Neighborhood, Lupe. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Sounds like your version, man. Hey, if I'm having a <laughs> bad day or a bad night, right? Just go on Instagram, you see Lupe, she doing her TikTok video. Yep. Makes a lot of She's the one, she's coming up. Coming up. Shout out Lupe. Shout out to Lupe. Shout out to Crib Mag. Everybody else who came through. It's been No Jumper, the coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, all that shit. Like, comment, and subscribe. Nojumper.com. If you want to support, bro. That was a little awkward. Yeah, Shut the fuck up. Loyalty don't exist, though. Y'all tap in.